Do you ever get 98% done a job and then you're like, hey, okay? And then you're looking around like, I should have just done it. Each week we tackle massive projects, which means everything else gets pushed aside. But not this week, we're challenging ourselves to get it all done. Even in a heat wave. First task, to enclose this growing dome, which will enable us to grow food through all four seasons and produce enough vegetables for four to six people. Do I get my avocado tree? Maybe. <laughs> All right, we are absolutely crushing it, making good flow and good timing. How many triangles did we just put in? Five? Four or five? five for and that was quick. So this is actually pretty easy because although these don't look strong, we can actually sit on them, lean on them, step on them. They are super strong. They can hold seven feet of snow and they can really? manage, yeah, and manage up to 180 kilometer hour winds. Super strong. What are those called? Those nor'easters have nothing on the this. Nor'easters. Nor'easters. They got nothing on this dome. All the East Coasters will know what we're talking about. Heck yeah, they will. Last triangle. Last one. Ooh, it's like a sail. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. Oh my goodness. That's the puzzle. Woo! This smile is because it's One the last panel. One million panels later. So happy. Okay. Well, Crystal draws that line. I'm going to get the rest of the pieces. Lady, come on. It's actually really comfortable. It's also 45 degrees in here. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you even draw your line? Come on, Crystal. We have a lot to do today. There's more than just this door we gotta do today. Crystal! <laughs> oh, one person show today. <laughs> oh, one person show. It's a zero person show. <laughs> Try to take the credit. <laughs> Let's go, lady. <sighs> Everyone always says, how do you two have so much energy? How can you build this? How can you build that? And guess what? Today is one of those days. We have no energy. Zero left. I don't know if it's because of the heat or... Just tired today. I'm so tired. Jasmine right? just caught me sleeping on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> our bodies are like, you need to rest. And then our mind says, don't you dare, body. And here we are. Caffeine. <laughs> Ready to get weird? We're framing the door. We're putting up a header, everyone. I did. It's gonna be fully enclosed. And Crystal just gave a good um, point. We could probably move all our tools in here. Get them out of the hose. Just for a couple days. We still have to add that airplane tape, but it could be a nice little storage area for one until we grow. Or until we get the garden until beds. Until we build mm -hmm. garden beds. That's what I'm trying to say here. And get the rest of the supplies. Like this is all of it we have now, so. Bravo. The door panels take a little bit more effort as you have to cut, measure, bang in the, what are those things called? The hubs. So we got to clean up because we have a big mess, but we have a very, very exciting appointment tomorrow that we need to prepare for. So we'll probably be up till two in the morning again. Here goes nothing. Good morning, Mary. 
third time insulators. <laughs> I haven't even brushed my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the tour. We're kicked out of the cabin. Yep, we're out of the cabin. I actually slept really good in the van last night. The bed in the van is so comfortable. It's like sleeping on a cloud. We, I couldn't get out. I know, we need to up our uh, mattress game inside. Yeah, like all this work we're doing, we need to get a better mattress. <laughs> All right, Porter just dropped some four to six stone and spread it because this is what you have all been telling us to do for, well, since the beginning, is to make a nice place to turn around and for people to stay over in their vans and their RVs and their rigs. Okay, I'm going to put some geotextile down. That's what I'm gonna do. Back to using geotextile. Geotextile and their fabric. Reason, what? That's a great dance. Great song, great dance, great song. <laughs> few weeks you've watched us tear down the OSB, remove the old insulation, and prepare the cabin for new insulation. We're now at that point. They're spray foaming the cabin. They're currently underneath the cabin as our cabin is propped up on sono tubes. They're spraying in between the floor joists so that way the bottom is entirely insulated. They're gonna move on to the walls, the attic, and the entire inside ceiling peak. I'm very happy with this decision. Knowing we have two by four walls, we're gonna have the correct R value for a toasty winter. Yes. Fast track habitat, feeling like I found a change. Never gonna look back, wouldn't have it any other way. Check this out. This is the new and improved parking pad. It can fit at least two vehicles and it's flat which means that our friends and family and whoever's coming out here in their rigs and their vans have a nice place to sleep and we have a great place to turn around to be able to get in and out and that way we can park here when the tradespeople are coming in and it's not a traffic jam. Bella! Come on, Izzy. All right, we're going to the warehouse. Starting route to Westland Industrial Supply. a lot of panels. Hopefully the truck makes it. What an exciting day. Beautiful sun in the sky and we're gonna harness it with everything that's in this box. Time to bring it home. Oh my god that looks so nice. Feel the breeze bounce off the sky Bam 30 panels. is exactly why we ordered that garage while we were in Mexico. I don't know how many months ago. 30 panels, everything. Cabin is spray foamed. It's taking a bit longer than they expected. Still has to do a little bit of a clean up. And everything we own. You lose your pants? Too hot for pants. <laughs> no one needs pants. <laughs> I learned recently that you actually don't cook with fresh herbs. When did we learn that? A couple months ago? Yeah. That was mind blown. Anyways. Yeah, it's way better after. Yeah, which makes complete sense. I don't know why. All the flavor. Where Whoa. are you? There you are. All the flavor. All the Thank you.
The tomatoes are doing so good. They almost all have fruit. A couple of them are coloring. This is a real workout though because the rainwater collection finally has the black covers, but you get your steps in, let me tell you. <laughs> It's so good to be home after being in the city. Is it ever? It's so nice. Love being back in the woods oh. with my wild woman. <laughs> That's the only traffic we ever see. Hi, plane. The heat wave turning deadly now. The searing temperatures coast to coast. It is going to be a hot and humid stretch across the Maritimes. You don't have air conditioning? Get your sleep tonight. Few Some nights. cranky folks over the next couple yeah, days. Yeah, I think so. so. Thank God the cabin's insulated again. It would be so much hotter. Still like plus 30. Plus 30? <laughs> what do you think it is? It's way hotter than that. In here? No way. No, but I'm saying sad. in here it would have been like so hot. Happens every summer. Things are moving slow. And time to unwind only gives me time. She's swimming to all the way. Like Keep going, Belle. All right. I know what the next task is. You wanna go? Gladly. Have fun! Love it. Give me something. I'm about to lose my mind. Hi! Finally! The next task. I know exactly what's in there. Thank gosh it arrived today. Everything's working out so perfect. Spray foam, we can now live in there. It's not 80 degrees in there. And look what we got. Yes! <laughs> this is awesome. You've been waiting all month for this. I've been watching tracking, for sure. <laughs> I just want to let you all know, our camera is overheating right now. I'm, it's literally overheating, and there's even two fans built in on this camera. It's like our beast camera that's meant for videoing all day, and it's overheating. Just want to let you know how hot it is. Summer. Loving, give me oh my gosh. <laughs> it's big. Bella, are you happy? And you're happier. Even though I forgot the base, it still works great. <laughs> Looking a little comfortable, are we? This is a bad first task. <laughs> We're never gonna need to work. Yeah, get yourself some shade. We're never gonna leave. Why would I go work out in the heat? Like my job is in the direct sun. I'm gonna spend all of my time here. Same, I'm actually chilly. I'm this is fantastic. Like yeah, because the breeze is coming in and you're shaking. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, rigging something up? <laughs> Trying to figure it out. I actually saw a restaurant do this. And then what did they put on top of it though? I don't know, I didn't look that hard. Good work. Thanks. Not going anywhere now, or is it? What are we building, lady? Chalices for the tomatoes. And where'd you learn how to make these? My self reliance. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Oh, cool. I'm excited. Same. I mean, I don't think, I don't know if he builds them like this, but I am. Nice. So you just saw something and you're like, let's do something similar. I yes. love that. And that'll make our babies go really tall. Yeah, everyone was actually like, on the comments, was like, uh, you need chalices. I was like, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. We're slamming back iced coffees because hot. So we have extra leftover cedar. I think they're one by sixes. And they're gonna make the perfect steaks for the garden. And that way the tomatoes grow up to be juicy and delicious.
those are gonna be some happy tomatoes. I love it, it looks so good. So basically we're gonna do that all the way down. However, we did already pre-cut some of the cedar, but next time I would make the steaks taller than the trellis, obviously. We forgot that you bang them in and then clearly put them in the dirt that much. So now they're shorter. Just if you wanna do this design at home. You know, some people might wanna do the design. I just wanna help them make the best design. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Yeah, I know, but I, I'm very mindful now. Sprains and rolls teach you mindfulness. Like you just so woke. <laughs> Every step is well thought out. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato meat trellis. <laughs> there we go. They already seem to be gravitating right towards it. Well, I'm helping them. You guys look at look that. Look at that. That's a, that's a big mama. They're gonna grow nice and tall right up these. I just love to see it. Good work there, metal cutter. Beautiful. Take it all in. I am living for this breeze. It's fabulous. I don't even know how we're doing anything at 34. Breaks, baby. That's true. Iced coffee. <laughs> On your way to get some mulch. Yeah, saw a beautiful monarch. That's why you plant pollinators. <laughs> yeah. And hola, bienvenidos. Back. Welcome back to the north, monarch. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. First one this year. All right, so a few things I learned. Now, could be wrong, but this is what I've learned. Is that the mulch shouldn't touch the actual stem of the tomato plant. Just around it. Just around the stem, and then... Why? Well, for it to retain water, but I can't remember why this can't touch the stem, but I, I learned that that's what we're doing, so... Facts with Crystal. Facts. With no, uh... <laughs> explanation. All, yeah, no explanations. Where are you learning all these tips from? Where? Yeah. Oh, you know, Google. <laughs> Google. The Google machine. Built this last year. Hasn't had a home until right now. <laughs> Finishing it off. Feels so good completing that. It's been on my head for like the last year. I showed up late to my neighbor's party. Worked my way around a crowd I hardly knew. Then I saw you walking through that doorway. I only came because I knew Getting ahead of the game. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> when the peppers grow up, they'll need a string line, so yeah. I'm going to build it one. Nice. So that way we can just attach the string to here and then you can go back and forth. Oh, that's so cool. And then they have support. Love it. Voila. I love it. I love it so much. It absolutely kills me that there are just this many projects around here that have been left half done. Well, 98% done. There's just you know, you're walking around doing something, and you're like, oh, still have to do that, and that, and that, and all the things. So, this feels really good. I feel like we're having a good day. Just checking them off. <laughs> checking them off. <gasps> you have to. Does anyone else get like 98% on a job, and you're like, great, good to go. Let's keep going. <laughs> like, actually, there's so many things in the van, too, that are 98%, and we're just like, it was great. <laughs> oh, here we go. Like, seriously, like, <laughs> look at this, this walkway. Like, it couldn't even be more half done. Mulched, nope. not mulched. We de weeded, not de weeded, not even finished. Wood sitting right beside it. <laughs> like, can we get any worse than that? It's right there. Okay, I'll tackle one, you tackle the other. I'm mulching, baby. I'm cutting wood, baby. There is nothing I love more than this mulch. <laughs> it's glorious, and no one around here is nearly as excited as I am for this mulch. Oh no! <laughs> That was such a hard hit. Who are you? Or we're not playing football. Oh. Yes, well, I did want to jump and roll around in the mulch, and now I have. 
<laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta make these hot days fun somehow. Now that all that shenanigans is over, this beautiful mulch is completely natural and we just got it dumped here. So this is a full truckload and we're gonna put it in all of the gardens. Not only is it gonna pull all of the hard work together and make it look really nice, it's gonna retain water. That way through these dry days, we don't have to water two to three times a day because we don't have enough rainwater at the moment for that. It's gonna look good. Ooh, la, la. tell you if you have a mundane project like we do just finish it it makes you feel really good wow i'm so happy that's done <laughs> so nice it's so beautiful just makes it does it ever i love them it's so pretty i'm speechless we can have dinner out here and see our food most important thing about a meal <laughs> good work this week you too that was a week all right was it ever <laughs> put those feet up <laughs> thanks for making a beautiful fire <laughs> see you sunday pack see you sunday <laughs> hey, 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 hey.